Hello everybody and welcome back. Today we'll be talking about some relevant physical quantities to the waves or to the wave motion. We have something called the displacement, the amplitude, complete oscillation, periodic time and frequency. First, the displacement. Let's say that we have a simple pendulum with a string like that and it moves to the right this way so it was found at the point A that it moved to the point B this is a displacement the displacement is the distance between any two points in the path of motion or it's the, di the distance between a point and the point of equilibrium position of the object. As we can see here, the object at rest was found at the point A, then it moved to the point B. So this is a displacement. The displacement is a vector physical quantity. A vector physical quantity means that this quantity have both direction and magnitude because the uh, direction of this movement, for example, is in the positive position and in the other direction it may be at a negative position. So there is a difference here in the directions. So the direction defines this physical quantity. Also, it have a magnitude. We may say that the displacement was 10 centimeters, 5 centimeters, like that. So this is the first point, the displacement. The second physical quantity is the amplitude. The amplitude is the maximum displacement of the vibrating object. We have just defined the displacement and we have just said that when the uh, pendulum moves from A to B it made a displacement. What if the object just moved like that and it stopped right here and it returned again to the uh, equilibrium position? Here the object moved from point A to the point B, of course the velocity at the point A will be maximum and here velocity will equal zero because the body has moved then stopped, then it returned again. So amplitude may be defined as the, uh, the distance between two points of uh, the path of motion or in the path of motion this path of motion of the pendulum where at one point velocity is maximum and at the other point velocity is zero so this is an amplitude this is an amplitude when the body moves from here, the velocity is maximum, it stops, the velocity is zero. When it returns here again, velocity here becomes maximum, because it moves like that, then stops here, so the velocity becomes zero, so it's also an amplitude. This is our second physical quantity. The third physical quantity is the complete oscillation. The complete oscillation. We have said that the uh, pendulum moved from A to B, then it returned from B to A. The movement of the pendulum is not completed yet. It's supposed that it moves from A to the other direction, say to the point C
then it returns again to the equilibrium position. This is a uniform um, movement of a pendulum, so that it moves like that, one, two, three, and it returns to its resting position or the equilibrium position. This is called a complete oscillation. A complete oscillation is the, um, the wave motion in the instant of time where the wave motion here, the vibrating object, passes by a point two times successively in the same phase. The same phase means in the same direction and the same displacement. So as we can notice here, first it moved from A to B. So it returns again from B to A, then A to C, then C to A. So it passes by A two times successively and that's why it's called a complete oscillation. A complete oscillation. When it returns from B to C, it passes by A, and when it returns from C to B, it passes by A. This is the third physical quantity. The fourth physical quantity is the periodic time. The periodic time. The periodic time is the time needed it's the time needed by a vibrating object to make one complete oscillation. So, let's say that the pendulum moves from A to B, from B to A, A to C, and C to A. The time taken by this process is called the periodic time, and we refer to as T capital, to refer to the time. So, for example, the periodic time here may be 2 seconds. In order to let the object move from A like that and returns again. The last physical quantity we have is the frequency. Frequency is referred to as a new. This is a Latin letter, nu, it's written like that, and the unit of frequency is hertz, hz for short, hertz. So the frequency is the um, number of complete oscillations in one minute the number of complete oscillations in one minute. So if you want to get the value of the frequency we will do the following 1 over t 1 over the periodic time 1 over the periodic time in order to get the frequency which will accordingly will be here 1 over 2 Hertz. So the frequency of this pendulum is half hertz. And uh, finally, um, I'd like to show you a video which um, talks about something called the um, simple harmonic motion. This is the motion that we have just talked about. The simple harmonic motion, where the vibrating object carries out the simplest form of the wave motion. So the wave motion in its simplest form is called the simple harmonic motion. The vibrating object as we have just mentioned, moves from a point, it returns to the equilibrium position, moves to another point, then returns to the equilibrium position, and so on till it stops. So this object is attached to two strings, and it's pulled, and then it's left. So it moves from right to left, as we can see the green and the red lights, which indicates the amplitude, and they are equal in each complete oscillation, 
They decrease gradually due to the friction of the object with the surface till the object finally stops. This is called the simple harmonic motion. So this is it for today and the next time we will be talking about something called the resonance and until then I thank you for watching and see you.